Hello and welcome back to the Technic Tutorials Thumbcraft Halloween Special Part 2. This time I'm showing you perhaps the most important thing in Thumbcraft. After the infuser, it is the Quasitum. And for this, you will need three smooth stone, three iron ingots, a glass bottle, an ink sack, and a feather. And you place them like that and it creates the quasitum and you place the quasitum as you would and it looks like this it looks a bit like a stone writing desk with gold inlaid into it but what it does is you right click and it brings up this strange display and the way this works is the quasitum is used to research new items because Thoundcraft in much the same way as Industrial Crafts adds an EMC value, Thumbcraft adds a research value. And the value goes up for the better things to use to research. So like you can get up to 16 with a block of gold, you can get 24 for a block of diamond, 7 for a block of iron, 8 for, for bookshelves because they're obviously packed full of knowledge. Whereas books themselves are five, and so are slime balls. And the higher research value affects the productivity of your quasitum. But we'll come back to that. The GUI of a quasitum looks quite complicated, but when you know what everything does, it actually seems rather simple. You have your primary research target, and then two boosters and then the chance of research success, failure, and loss. Success means getting something useful out of the research. Failure is only used for higher up research, and it's the chance that your research will go backwards. And loss is chance of losing the item you're researching with. This is the progress bar, and this is the paper supply, and you need lots of paper. You can only create things from research if you have paper to write it on. So, we'll start off. Here, each of the artifacts has characteristics. It's common, uncommon, rare, or exceptional. And you can have forbidden, lost, eldritch, or just ordinary. And the way you use these is each one corresponds to a different avenue of research. So all of the eldritch ones are related and are used together as a forbidden and ordinary are uh, used in the lost research. But before you start researching it's worth setting up a few bookcases because like an enchanting table the Quasitum gets powered up by having bookshelves next to it. As you can see, things are flying off the bookshelves and into the Quasitum, and it increases the likelihood of research being successful. So what you do is you choose an avenue of research. So we'll start off with Forbidden Knowledge. And you place the highest research valued item in this case the tome of forbidden knowledge so we'll take off the paper so it doesn't start early and you place that in there and as you can see the success has gone up to 86 percent but the loss is at 75 percent so there's a 75 percent chance that this tome will be destroyed when it tries to research so we can boost it by putting the second rarest item in there and that's gone now to over 100% so that's wasting the item so we'll put one slightly lower and that's 106 and that's 96 so we'll put that one in there just to put it over 100 and you can have up to two of these boosters and generally it's a good idea to have the rarest in there to give you a highest base value and then boost it until it gets as high as possible and there's a 75% chance that we'll lose any of these. So replacing the paper, progress bar fills up, 
and we've produced it, produced two fragments of forbidden knowledge. So we place them down there, and it's used two paper, one for each fragment of knowledge, and we've lost a couple of items, but that's fine, we've got plenty left. Place the next one in there, move the paper to stop it from going, and then we need to raise this as much as possible. So that's at 73%. Now it's at 83%. And put the paper back in. And it goes up. It's produced another fragment of forbidden knowledge. And this will continue going. It only uses paper if it actually is successful, so you don't need to worry about that if you've got a nice supply waiting. Another fragment and it'll continue to research until it's run out of things in the top slot. You see the success rate's now only 52% and a loss of 75 But artifacts have no use other than for research, so it's good to use them all. So now we have 11 fragments of knowledge, but there is another thing you can do with them. So what I'll do is I'll research all the other kinds and then I'll show you what you can do with the fragments. Here I've run out of other items but I still have an Eldritch artifact to research and this is where these extra items come in. The higher the research value so that's 11% and that's boosted it up to 19%. The higher the research value the more chance it will have of succeeding in boosting an item and that's why paper and books are useful so I'll put in two stacks of books in there. Just raised it to 15%. So it's still not a high chance, but it's a higher chance than without the books. Okay, now that we've got a large supply of fragments of knowledge, you can use these to turn them into more than just fragments. So you place the fragment in the top slot, and it has a chance of success and loss, and the loss is generally higher than with just artifacts. And then you place your most uncommon artifacts in there to boost that as much as possible. So it's a, only a 47% chance. So place in the paper. And the idea of this is you're trying to get a theory from the fragments of knowledge. Here it's created a theory. From those fragments I've created three theories, Soul Stealer Enchantment, Vampiric Enchantment and the Dark Infuser. And it comes with a difficulty level. And this level goes from trivial up to torturous and it just shows how easily I can work out and turn the theory into a practical recipe. So I'll just do that with the lost knowledge. From those fragments I've created all of these theories and I've got some duplicates, like I've got two thalmic generator theories. There are four different kinds of knowledge that can be researched. There's lost knowledge which is uh, mundane and everyday things made special. There's forbidden knowledge which is the proper thalmcraft things. There's tainted knowledge, which is knowledge involving taint, either spreading or stopping of. And then there's eldritch knowledge, which are the most powerful items in Thalmcraft. A good way to get fragments of knowledge without having artifacts is by use of cobblestone. Because it's so plentiful and common, you can just place in there and it only has a 3% chance even with bookcases and a 75% chance of loss. But you can leave that and come back and there's a chance it will have created a fragment of lost knowledge like that. And it's effectively free knowledge that you can use for reinforcing theories, which I'll come on to next time, or crafting a special item that can only be made using fragments of knowledge. Thank you for watching, keep an eye out for the next part of the Thalmcraft Halloween special. Bye bye.